Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys about the basics of YouTube keyword research. Perfect for beginner content creators looking to rank their videos on YouTube. If you guys are new to my channel, hi my name is Janet and this is Social Media Growth Hacks which is a new channel that I just set up dedicated to growing on social media and making some money along the way. So if you would like to watch more videos like this on how to grow your social media platforms and start blogging or start YouTube, please think about hitting the subscribe button below. Right, let's get started. So I hear you ask, why is keyword research so important? Well, here's the thing. If you're a large YouTuber and you already have like half a million or one million subscribers and all of your videos are getting 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 views, then keyword research isn't really that important for you. However, if you are just starting out and you're struggling to get to that all important mark of 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers, then doing keyword research for your YouTube videos and SEO optimizing your videos on YouTube is going to really help you get more views and more subscribers. By doing keyword research, you are essentially looking into what people are searching for, who's searching for it, how many people are searching for it, and what the competition is like. So what other video content creators have made similar, what is ranking, and how many subscribers they have, thus knowing how tough the competition really is. There really is no point in making a video if no one is searching for that topic. So if no one is searching for how to make slime, don't make a video on how to make slime. For example, when I wanted to make my video about how to grow your Instagram, which is like one of the last videos that I just published, I needed to do my keyword research first, which I started doing on YouTube. I typed in how to grow on YouTube into the YouTube search bar. Then I have the Chrome extension for vidIQ, which is on the top right hand corner of my computer screen. And it comes up on the whole right hand side here. Well, as you can see, this is my YouTube screen and on the right hand side you can see the vidIQ bar which shows me the competition for how to grow your Instagram. I initially typed in the key phrase how to gain followers on Instagram but I quickly discovered according to vidIQ that the competition for that search term is actually quite high. So I started playing around with the different keyword phrases and eventually I found the phrase how to grow on Instagram. So that looked like it was a little bit less competitive but people were still searching for it. Now you can turn that key phrase into a long tail key phrase by adding words at the end. So how to grow on Instagram in 2020 or how to grow on Instagram fast. Words like that means that you might rank for the longer keyword and as your video starts gaining momentum it might start ranking for the shorter keyword which is the more important one, the, more, the one that gets more volume but the one that's a little bit more competitive as well. At this stage it's also important to check out who else is ranking for this keyword or key phrase. So you're going to type in how to grow on Instagram and then you're going to look at the top five videos that are ranking for this keyword. Now what you're looking for here is the number of views and the number of subscribers. So if the top five people all have over a million subscribers it's going to tell you that that key search term is really difficult to rank for and that you're probably going to have quite a difficult time beating out the competition for that particular word or phrase. However, if you type in a phrase and you look at the top five videos that come up from YouTube search and some of them have like 10,000 subscribers or 20,000 subscribers, that tells you that YouTube is actually starting to rank people that don't have that many subscribers, which means that the competition is pretty low and that you have a much higher chance of ranking your video for that key search term. Now, at this stage, there's another tool that I like to use that I only discovered recently, which is called Uber Suggest. It is like an SEO keyword research tool by Neil Patel, who is obviously an SEO guru, and I love watching these videos. You just check out his channel. Uber Suggest is amazing. You can type in your keyword phrase, such as how to grow on Instagram, and it will show you loads and loads, like 10, 15, 20 related phrases that might be better for you. It will tell you how to grow on Instagram in 2020, how to grow on Instagram fast, how to gain followers on Instagram. So it's going to give you loads of variations of the initial term that you typed in and it's also going to tell you how competitive they are. But the thing to remember is that this is actually just for Google and you are making your video for YouTube. While it's good to tell you what the volume is and what the basic kind of competition is for these search terms, you will need to go back to YouTube and type in the phrase again to make sure that the competition isn't too high on YouTube for these key search phrases. For example, one of my followers commented on one of my videos and asked if I would do a Canva tutorial. Now, I've been using Canva for years to make Pinterest pins and to make YouTube thumbnails, make graphics for my blog and I never really thought that anyone would need a tutorial on how to use Canva because it just seemed too easy. 
This made me think, well, maybe people are searching for that search term, but most creators think it's too easy, so aren't making videos. So I did type it into YouTube, and I quickly discovered that it's actually a really good search term. So a lot of people are searching for it, or quite a few people are searching for it, but the competition is really low. So if you look at the accounts that are ranking for the top five videos on how to use Canva or Canva tutorial, they actually don't have that many subscribers. So this means that the competition isn't that high, and I have quite a good chance of ranking a new video Video, if it's really good um, on how to use Canva on YouTube. Now the other thing is how to use Canva is the key phrase that I would like to rank for but I can also make it longer so I can do how to use Canva tutorial or how to use Canva in 2020 or beginner's guide to using Canva. So you can play around with the key phrase a little bit and hopefully that you, you will rank for one of those phrases before you rank for the main phrase and that will in turn help you to rank for the big phrase and you'll get more traffic and more subscribers. Okay so what do you do once you've picked your key phrase you know that it's uh, good people are searching for it it's got good volume and low competition. What do you do next? So you make your video and in your video you actually say the key phrase. So if I'm gonna make a video about how to grow on Instagram, in the opening introduction to my video I'm like, hey guys welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how to grow on Instagram. So the keyword is right there in the opening intro of my video. I'm also probably gonna throw it in once, twice, maybe even three times throughout the video and then at the end when I do my conclusion or my outro I'm like, Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video on how to grow your Instagram. See you guys tomorrow. So you're gonna include the key phrase in the video itself, because yes, YouTube does pick up on that. Then when you upload your video, you're gonna put your key phrase in the title, like the heading, the title, whatever you're calling your video. You're gonna put it in the description, ideally in the first paragraph. So in your description, you're gonna say, in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to grow on Instagram. Then you're gonna put it in the tags. You can put up to 500 letters or 500 characters um, in the tags. You're gonna use loads of variations of your keyword phrase in the tag. So how to grow on Instagram, best ways to grow on Instagram, how to grow on Instagram in 2020, how to grow on Instagram fast, how to gain followers on Instagram. Just all the tags you can think of, you're gonna include them. And then in the pinned comment, it's also good to have some sort of variation of the keyword. Like, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to grow on Instagram. Let me know if you have any questions. So you are just sending YouTube all the signals in the world that this video is about how to grow on Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna give you some examples from my main site, my main YouTube channel, which is a travel channel, and how I managed to rank quite a few of my videos using this strategy. So if you go to Google and you type in Zanzibar, which is a pretty famous island off the east coast of Africa, where I traveled to last year, and then you type the videos tab, you will see that my video on Zanzibar is number one in Google. If you go back to YouTube and just type the word Zanzibar, again, you're gonna see my video that now has over 100,000 views, of which I think 80% has all come from YouTube search, so people searching for the term Zanzibar or Zanzibar travel guide, and my video is coming up number one. Literally by doing keyword research on that video, which is really short, it's like two or three minutes long, I didn't even think it would do that well, has now gained the number one place on YouTube and has sent me over 100,000 views, which is pretty amazing. So once that video started taking off, I decided I should make another video about Zanzibar. So I did a guide to Stone Town, which is like the main city in Zanzibar, uh, things to do in Stone Town, and now that video is also ranking on YouTube. So quite a few of my videos rank like that, like Paphos, Greece, um, my video about Graz in Austria, and my video about themed cafes in Seoul, like quirky themed cafes in Seoul is ranking I think for the term Korean cafes so that's pretty cool and all of these videos are gaining momentum and have anywhere from 10,000 views up to 100, 105,000 views. As you can see doing proper keyword research for your videos is going to get you more views, more subscribers and help you build your channel. So I really hope that this pretty simple and pretty quick um, tutorial was useful for you guys and that it will help you to rank your videos on YouTube in the future. If you would like to watch more videos like this on how to grow your social media and make some money along the way, don't forget to subscribe below. Thanks for watching and let's grow our social media together.